What is DNA? Every living thing has DNA, from plants to animals to bacteria, even to viruses which were once considered non-living. And most importantly, we humans have it. DNA stands for deoxyribonucleic acid, and although every living thing has DNA, its varied compositions differentiate you from others. The interesting fact is that humans' DNA is 99% the same. Therefore, it is only 1% of DNA that makes you unique. Does this mean twins don't have exactly the same DNA? No, they don't, unless they're monozygotic or identical twins. So now the questions arise. Why every living thing has DNA? What is so important in it? And what does it do? DNA has a recipe for synthesizing proteins. DNA synthesizes RNA, or ribonucleic acid, by a process called transcription. It is further translated into proteins by a process termed as translation. The explanation of DNA conversion into RNA, and finally RNA into proteins, is called central dogma. DNA contains hereditary information that is passed on to you from your parents. If you and your father have the same colour of eyes, or your hair are as silky as your mother, it is because of DNA that you inherited from your parents. Even many diseases are passed on from generation to generation because of DNA. Where does DNA reside in your body? Your body is made up of billions and trillions of cells, and almost all cells have DNA in their nucleus. Can you tell us which cell may not contain DNA? Now let's talk about the structure of DNA. Think of DNA structure as a ladder whose rungs are made up of different bases and sides as sugar phosphate. Each composition of this nitrogenous base, pentose sugar and phosphate group, is called nucleotide. The nitrogenous bases are of four different types, adenine, guanine, cytosine and thymine. Adenine will always bind with thymine and cytosine with guanine. This type of bonding is hydrogen bonding. Phosphate and sugar are linked together to make backbone and complementary bases are attached on it. Due to the bond angle of the sugar phosphate molecules, the linkages will eventually form a double helix structure. There's a lot more to know about DNA, but that's all for now.